right, Shalom. First off, we want to give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shah. Double honors to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone. And this is Sir Shalom to all the Akim out here that's doing and pushing the work in truth and in sincerity. Um, we're going to go in this lesson on uh, pretty much, you know, having a ruling class mentality and, um, you know, having a right attitude towards Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shah. Okay, and what, what, Having that right attitude towards Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai, you have to feel him, okay? Um, the Lord, the Lord is is the is the brother just went in earlier, you know what I'm saying? He's the ruler of, of this world, man, you know? And he wants everybody to be in subjection to him. He's not going to reward you if you're not doing what he say, okay? And and with doing what he say, these scriptures come first, okay? You got it, right? Uh, Joshua what? 22 and uh, 5. Joshua chapter 22, verse 5, it says, But take diligent heed to do the commandment and the law. Right. Okay, take diligence, man. Okay? So brothers are supposed to, to, to go out in, uh, in the cold, okay, in the hot. Okay, that's showing that you have a ruling class mentality, man, because you ain't allowing the elements of this world to get to you, man. Nothing in this world is supposed to phase you when it comes down to doing the work of Yahweh by some Yahweh Shah. Okay, you got it. Yep. And then it says, uh, which Moses, the servant of Yahweh, charged you to love Yahweh, your power, and walk in all his ways, and to keep his commandments, and to cleave unto him, and to serve him with all your heart. Right. So the thing is, you have people out here that disrespect the Lord. Okay? You can't let nobody just straight up disrespect what you believe in, man, okay? You see a nigga, like, like, bro polite, okay, shoot up the Bible, okay? But, you know, he allowed to go shoot up, he could do whatever he want to, you know? Mm -hmm. We don't get mad at that, you know? He just a nigga that shoot, shot up the Bible, you know? But the thing is that, you know, this is what we believe in, okay? And, and the fact is, the scriptures say that that nigga got something coming for him, man, you know? And, and we not a saint to tell you that, man. Right. You know, we're going to tell you that the Lord going to destroy you, man. Okay? We're not, we not the, the type of guys that's going to take up guns to go try to, you know, uh, battle against you. You know? You're just a, a regular nigga, man. Okay? And even to try to go fight against uh, Esau, man. You know? We can't, we can't take down Esau because the Lord set him up, man. Wait a second. You know? Go ahead, go ahead. Keep going. Um, I got a uh, scripture. This is... Uh, Ephesians uh, 4, verse uh, 17. This I say, therefore, and testify in the Lord, that ye henceforth walk not as gent other Gentiles walk in the vanity of their mind. Okay? You know, shooting up the Bible. You know, you got people that take out the Bible uh, pages and try to boil it, trying to make holy water and shit. You know, Jake is really bugged out their mind. You know, and they think that that's affecting this word, you know? You even got guys out here, you know, that uh, they don't have that ruling class mentality, so these women come and they just run all, all over them, man, you know? And right now you have the, uh, the the topic of women, you know what I'm saying, going out here and, and, and simps, man, you know? You can't be a simp and believe in these scriptures, man, you know? Because one way or another, the, the word is going, going to cut you, man. Hey, what's that? Uh, Proverbs uh, 31, I believe. It said, give not thy strength unto women, yeah. you know, nor thy ways that destroy of kings, mm -hmm. you know. So you're not supposed to give your strength unto women, man. Okay? You allow women to come up and, and speak in your camp, you know what I'm saying? Just just run, speak whatever they want to. You allow the women to, 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 to uh, run over your camp, man. Mm -hmm. You ain't supposed to allow that, man. When we go out there and we teach this word, that's our camp, man. That's you right. know? That's 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 us pushing this word, man. You know? We ain't letting no, no nigga come up. You know, they can come up, say whatever the hell they want to. You know, it just goes in, in one ear and out the other, you know? But our mentality is getting the hell up out of here, man, and condemning this society, man. That's what the, the kings are, uh, that's what the Lord is setting us up, up to be, man. Kings, man. Um, I, I had um, <coughs> Ephesians, uh, it was 4, you can uh, get the 18th uh, verse. Yeah. Uh, this is Ephesians 
points. You said four? Yeah, four. Uh-huh. Four and 18. Okay. This is uh, Ephesians chapter four, verse 18. It says, having the understanding, having the understanding darkened, being alienated from the life of the power of the Most High, y'all watching me on shot, through the ignorance that is in them because of the blindness of their heart. Yeah, and and this starts at an early age, man. You know, these children are not getting beat, you know what I'm saying, uh, the right way, you know, to, 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 to follow the scriptures, to do what the Lord said, you know, and 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 they, you know, they got the vibration of their, their mother, you know, and a lot of you simps, you got the vibration of a woman on you, man. You know, you have to get rid of that, man, because the, the scripture says that no infeminate is going to make it into the kingdom, man. You know? Um, you can keep going. Come on. Uh, verse 9. No, no. Continuing on. Verse 18. It says, from the light. Uh, I'll start over. Uh, Ephesians 4 and 18. Having an understanding darkened, being alienated from the light of the Yahweh Shem Yahweh through the ignorance that is in them because of the blindness of their heart. Who being past feeling have given themselves over unto lasciviousness to work all uncleanness with greediness. Right, and one thing that you know a lot of people out here have a problem with is taking that correction, man. You know? You have a you have another brother, okay, that that is trying to get you to stay on the right path, you know, to reprove you. Guys can't take that, man. You know? It's the difference between having a ruling class mentality and being a fucking nigga, man. You know? And guys like that being, being a nigga in this world, you know, uh, get to them. You know? You have to come into this thing with a whole different change of mind, man. You have to change your whole mind frame. You know? Uh, you, you got something? Yeah, yeah. Uh, I'll bring this up for you because the uh, topics of ruling class mentality. Uh, I did a video on it a while back. How people, most people think a ruling class mentality thinks is that you know it's a lot of riches, a lot of yeah. horses, a lot of substance. Well, that's not a that it's not the criteria of a ruling class mentality. Um, essentially, all right, a ruling class mentality truly is a, a man of wisdom, a man of understanding, of proper judgment. All right, so I'm gonna read this. This is Deuteronomy chapter 17. I'm gonna start at verse 15. Thou shalt in any wise set him king over thee. This is talking about if we were to choose a king of, uh, of our nation. Right. Whom the Yahweh thy power shall choose. One from among thy brethren shalt thou set king over thee. Thou mayest not set a stranger over thee, which is not thy brother. But he shall not multiply horses to himself, nor cause the people to return to Egypt. Right? Meaning what? Don't, don't cause your people to go off. Your brother mentioned polite earlier. Yeah. You know, he's not that nigga as much as Ben's Beamer's nigga got, you got mad woman. You know, the nigga's not a he's not a, a, a king. He doesn't have a ruler class mentality. Why? Because he's turning out people to uh, strange gods. Right. Hey, he, uh right now you got this thing where uh you know allowing Edomites to dress up how he you know according to their customs. I heard it. <laughs> yeah. Now he got Edomites bringing in the Edomites and stuff, man. Right. You know, which they don't have no doctrine towards uh, the so-called white man. You know, they in cahoots with the so-called white man. But you got it out. So I get. Come on, it's all good. Phone blowing up all of a sudden. Continuing on, it says uh. But he shall not multiply horses to himself, nor cause the people to return to Egypt, to the end that he should multiply horses. For as much as Yahweh hath said unto you, ye shall henceforth return uh, no more that way. Neither shall he multiply wives to himself, that his heart turn out not away. Neither shall he greatly multiply to himself silver and gold. And it shall be when he sitteth upon the throne of his kingdom, that he shall write him a copy of this law and a book out of that which is before the priests and the priests, the Levites, right? Why? Why is that? Because, uh, you know, riches, uh, gold, silver, women, wives, all that's going to come naturally. But the main thing is to have is the proper judgment. That's why that's what made uh, King Solomon uh, uh, a great king, because what he acts above riches, he acts for understanding, he acts for wisdom, right? You know, and the scripture says what in Matthew the sixth chapter? He says, "Seek ye forth the kingdom of heaven, and all everything else is, is going to come to you." 
So all those things that a man's heart's lust is desire, you know, that's what, you know, those things are gonna come later. Yeah. You know? But first you gotta get understanding first, man, because you can get all those riches, all those women, get mad, wine. But if you if you if your judgment is off, then what, man? Right. You know, then you ain't a good king. You don't have a ruling class mentality. Right. All right? Because a, a governor, a king, a prince has uh, men up under him, which which have to uh, 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 basically, you know, follow order. Yeah. If you don't know order yourself, then there's no way you can teach uh, 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 or lead a nation. Yep. That's why the Samaki, but that's why the the the, the, the elect, the elect right now, what are we learning? We're learning proper etiquette. We're learning proper judgment. You know why? Because the kingdom to come, the rulership to come. You know, is what? Shalom on my ear, how about you shout about the thaw? You know, you got captains coming in the building now. You know? It's all in the spirit. But yeah, you know, you got when the next uh, 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 kingdom to come, what what's going to happen? You're going to have set men that's going to be rulers. What, what's that scripture say? I'll get it. You know, it says uh, the 12 tribes. I'll get it. You know, uh, it's Matthew, the 19th chapter. I was brought it out the other day. Let's get this real quick while we're shot. You know? I got a quick one. Uh -huh. Um... 1 Thessalonians 1 verse 5 For our gospel came not unto you in word only but also in power and in the Holy Ghost and in much assurance as you know what manner of men we were among you for your sake you know and we put our we put our life on the line we put our freedom on the line to to teach other men, okay, to come into this truth and to be men, man. You know, we're not defrauding anybody, okay? We're not telling you come into this truth, okay, and, and rape little girls, you know? That's not the way that we we, we telling you, man, okay? We're telling you that this these scriptures is the end-all, be-all, and this is the good news, man, okay? But you got it, huh? Yeah, this is uh, this goes in also to what you're saying. This is Matthew 19, 27. It said, then answer Peter, and said unto, then answered Peter and said unto him, Behold, we have forsaken all and followed thee. What shall we have therefore? And Yahweh said unto them, Very, Why? Because when, because you know, uh, through extrapolation, Peter, Paul, not Paul, sorry, uh, Peter, James, John, uh, the rest of the disciples, you know, they had lucrative uh, occupations. You know, they could have made money. They could have. You know, they could have been wealthy, you know, so to speak. You know, they could have grinded, you know, and had their own glory in this in, in that life. But they knew that they gave it all up. And they right. and they asked the Lord, they said, okay, what are we gonna get? You know? Right? So when Yahweh came and he put them under the wing, he took them righteous judgment. Right? Why? This was this is what the scripture says. And Yahweh said unto them. Verily I say unto you, that ye which have followed me in the regeneration, when the Son of Man shall sit in the throne of his glory, ye also shall sit upon twelve thrones, judging the twelve tribes of Israel. Why? Because they sacrificed all. Right. That's another key element to uh, 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 righteous or uh, uh, the right attitude. Nah, what you said the topic was. Oh, yeah, the, the right attitude towards your Abba Shem Yahweh Shah right. and the ruling class the mentality. The ruling class mentality. Your ruling class mentality has to know how to sacrifice. If you don't know how to sacrifice, then you don't know how to rule. Right. You know, that's why I said that the king was given unto the priests and the Levitical, uh, the, the Levites, man. The king the king was like the quarterback, you know, and, and, and you know, in the analogy of football, the king, I mean the king, the the quarterback, he's in the, he's in the, uh, the film room studying film. Mm -hmm. Why? Because he has to learn. He has to know what his teammates is doing, okay? What their attributes and their tendencies are of his own teammates, of 10 other players on the field. And then who else does he have to study? He has to study the opponents and 11 other men. What are their attributes? What is the, the field setting? And he has to know all this stuff. Why? Because he has to make proper judgment. Right. You know? <laughs> yeah, it's all good, but that's why the king had to know what the the Levites had to do, even right. though he wasn't a Levite himself. Right, and and like to go off of what you said about the quarterback, you know, when a quarterback is is throwing the ball to somebody, he's gonna throw the ball to that guy that's gonna go get it. 
Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. That that tough guy that's, you know what I'm saying? And that's who we got to be, them tough guys, man. You know, throughout whatever adversity, they, Esau could double team you, triple team you. Right. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. We're going to go get it, man. You know? that that That's our ball. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Right, right. We try to get you the end zone, which right. is the kingdom, man. You right. know? That's the mentality that we got to have, man. And, and you're not going to... You're not gonna make the team, man, if you're not trying to put put your all in for the team, man. Yeah. You yeah. know, cause this is a this is a team, man. You know. Hell yeah. Get the shot bad or something you said. Yeah, cut, cut. A, a quarterback also gonna seek wise counsel with a so-called great football. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hell yeah, yeah, hell yeah. Hell yeah. yeah. They be, they are, all of them are students to the game. You have to be a student to the game, <laughs> even though. The, the best football players say that, or that, like Ray Lewis, he's a oh, every day I'm a student to the game. Why? Because he's learning, and it's uh, striving. That's why I wanted to get. Uh, uh, what is that? Help me out if you know it off top. I think it's Colossians. Let me see. Yeah, yeah, strive for the battle. Say it again. First Corinthians nine and twenty-five. And also, when you look at like a quarterback, you know we can we can equate how a shot of being our quarterback. You know, and when when you look at a quarterback, the quarterback is normally the ones that get the, the plays, man. You know what I'm saying? From from the most top. You know what I'm saying? Sometimes a quarterback can just, you know, call his own plays and do his own thing. You know what I'm saying? But y'all side is our quarterback, man. You know? What you got? Yeah. This is uh yep, first Corinthians chapter nine. There's another one he, he said it too. But I'm gonna read this uh nine verse uh twenty-five. And every man that's striving for the mastery. Right, it's temperate in all things. Now they do it to obtain a corruptible crown, but we an incorruptible crown. Right. Right. Yeah. 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 The word mastery, you know, when you go into it, is uh, Stephanos in the Greek, right. which uh, means a crown. All right. And it said that we strive and it is temperate in all things, meaning what? Being balanced. That real king. That's why I'm going back again. That's why I like to bring that scripture out of that account in Deuteronomy 17th chapter about what a king. He said, don't look for many wives, don't look for gold, don't look for silver. Yeah. Why? Because those things are going to come. And that's the balance. Because if the king, he has the authority to do that. He goes, oh, give me the gold, give me the silver. He, he has the, the authority to, to, to multiply horses. But a real, a righteous king, he's like, nah, I don't, I'm, that's not what I'm in it for. You right. know? I'm, I'm, I'm in it to uh, guide and uh, uh, rule my people in righteousness. So all the other things are distraction, you know? Right. Right. I'm glad you said that. Hey, can you get uh, mm -hmm. Ephesians uh, 4 and uh, 31? You know, because a king has to rule in righteousness, man. You know, you have to be balanced. You have to know uh, good and evil. Like when the, uh, when, when, when your house is Solomon, you know what I'm saying, the woman uh, came to him, you know what I'm saying, uh, they both were saying that the baby was his, you know, and your house he said, well, you know, split the baby in half. Give her one half and give the other lady uh, the other half. You know what I'm saying? And the, the one woman was like, yeah, I'm with it, you know? But he knew that that wasn't the mother. You know what I'm saying? So he gave the, the, the baby to the one who, who you know, uh, didn't want that, man. You know? So uh, you 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 guys that don't have that ruling class mentality, y'all look at that situation and say, oh, he wicked for trying to say, uh, you know, uh, sacrifice the baby. You know, like when, when Abraham, when the Lord told Abraham to go sacrifice uh, Isaac, man, you know, hey, <laughs> you got it out, you got it out. Yeah, can, so uh, can I add something? Yeah, yeah come uh, on. The word mastery in the, uh, the Merriam-Webster, it also says the authority of the upper hand in the contest of competition. You caught him. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey, we, we the upper that. hand. You said the competition. We was just yeah, going yeah. into football. Yeah. <laughs> right. You know? Yeah. Like we had great millstone. We like going into words, man. You know? You said yeah. four and twenty-one. Yeah, four and uh, twenty-one. Oh, 31. 31. Okay. This is uh Ephesians four and thirty-one. Let all bitterness and wrath and anger and yeah. calamity. Hey, that's what guys who come into this truth, you know what I'm saying? You get reproved, then you 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 end up bitter, man, like women, man. You know, uh, if it was up to, to, to a lot of you people out here, y'all would put the men of the Lord to death. You know what I'm saying? If y'all could get away with it, you know, um, you got it. Connor says, let all bitterness and wrath and anger and clamor and evil speaking. Right. Which a man of the Lord ain't supposed to be all up in that, you know, gossip bullshit, man. You know, and in between, you know, uh, what another man doing with his woman. 
You know, you got it. Yep. Then it says, in evil speaking, 